How do we feel about throwing the candle? Are we okay with that? Oh, I, I feel I'm not worried about you. It's it's just candle in the face that I'm. Yeah, you know that famous Elton John song. Go for it. I tell you what really, really, really cooks my bacon, and it's these people that are obsessed with bumper stickers like powered by pixie dust. No, it's not. It's not powered by pixie dust. It's powered by a combustion engine. Why have you put that on there? That is factually incorrect. These are the same people that also think it's really, really clever to put eyelashes on cars. Your car is not a person. It doesn't have a use for eyelashes. Ah! Wow. That's a very pragmatically wow. angry person. That I'm asked by the sun driver who assumes, you know, that because I'm 24, I can drive. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he says to me, it's super easy, dude. Super easy. He goes, you just, you know, <clears throat> And just peel off around this corner. I said all the cars around you are going to be stunt guys, so you're going to be totally safe. And um, you know, you just take off, gun it. I was like, sure, gun it. You know? Where's my gun? Yeah, I'll gun it. I'll gun it. I was like, I don't have to. Sh okay, I'm, as crazy and insane as this movie gets, I feel like. You must have, this must have been a vacation to shoot. What was that? <laughs> was beautiful. What was that like? I, that 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 it would be the hot. funniest thing that's said all day. I yeah. think yeah. it was. It was. I got to tell you, it was. It was. Um. It was tough, wasn't it? Was it? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it was. Yeah. It was, there's the heat was. The heat. Yeah. The wasps. <laughs> oh my god. The wasps. Heat and wasps. <laughs> just heat and wasps. Yeah. Oh, but beautiful as well. Was did it feel that way when you're there, or did it just? Did you just? <laughs> Does it just feel cold and, just and miserable? Cold yeah. and miserable. Yeah. <laughs> um. You know. It was really cold and miserable, but I think the thing that kept us all going through that was the fact that we, we felt like we were part of something special. I don't think we felt 12 Oscar nominations special, but yeah. we all felt like we were trying to tackle something that was, um, you know, that was unprecedented in many ways. I think the way we chose to shoot this, all in natural light, um, all with real weather elements and, and, and relatively limited CGI. Um, I should say that the visual effects team do an amazing job. When I'm guessing that there's a up. bear in it. If you haven't seen it already, I'm not... That's a real bear, it. though. That's a real it's bear. It's not a real bear. That was Kevin doing a bear impression. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and he nailed it. Yeah, well, because... Thank you. I wear contact lenses, but I also wear glasses, and these are awesome. It's a brand called Zach, created, I believe, by, a, by someone who used to be an optician. You can kind of customize them and get different sort of frames and lenses and all kind of included in the price, and I just love them. I love the, like, the clear frames, and these have transition lenses in them, so when you're indoors, they're clear, and then you go outside, and they go dark, and they function as sunglasses. And that's why I love it. You know what really grinds my gears? My dog. Just out for a walk at 5.30 a.m. She's just been to the toilet. Oh, she's going to help me pick it up by <laughs> flicking some grass at it. No, Lola, that will not help me pick it up. Next time, get a shovel, dig a hole, and do a better job, dog. Ah! Oh, dear. Have you got a dog? My mum has dogs. I kind of always had dogs, like, yeah. growing up. Um, yeah. I've got a pretty sensitive gag reflex, though. Picking up <laughs> dog poo was never... Like, when mum asked me to walk the dog, I was never stoked about it just no. because of that situation. You know, and they're obviously excellent at their job. They peel out perfectly, they gun it, perfect gun it, for 200 metres, and then there's this cop car just slowly... <laughs> <laughs> and, <I'm>, you know. <laughs> and that's you. And that was. Which accent? My accent? Oh. This is my accent. <laughs> and Will Poulter, who plays Galley in the movie. Let's hear your that's accent. My, Hello. Oh, hi, this is my voice. Hi. Yeah. I can see that. You have an interesting character. Yeah. You're <laughs> kind of a dick at times. Most definitely. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's so. Uh, how do you get into that? What, what was it about this guy? Um, I felt like Mark was an interesting character to me because he's kind of like the, the poster child of what not to be, uh, you know, in, in, in the modern age. And like, <clears throat> he felt very regressive, very out of touch. Um, and I think you could probably make a, a, a fairly sort of good case that he kind of gets what he deserves in the movie without kind of getting into spoiler territory. But um, yeah, so, so it was kind of interesting to, to play someone who sort of projects confidence and, um, you know, goes out of his way to kind of detract and dismantle everything around him, but really he's kind of pretty self-loathing and very insecure internally. So playing that was was kind of an interesting challenge. Um, and, you know, I think to Will's point as well, another thing that's cool about working with Ari is he intimately understands all of these characters. 
Um, he, being a writer-director, kind of really knows them very, very well. So going up to Ari and talking to him is like having a cheat sheet for your, for your role, which is really cool. Yeah. It's because you don't have a beard in it, do you? No, well, it's funny you say that. That's seven months of growth. Wow. <laughs> um, that, that image you had up before well, was... Well, let's have that, a look. We that, see, no, that's... Oh, a... now, that's... <laughs> that's fake. Yeah. Oh, that, that, I wish that was real. It, by the way, that gives me the most confidence. I'm having a bad day, I look at that and I go, go get him, buddy, and I just... <laughs> So let's... Maze jumper. Maze rubble. <laughs> Maze sweater. Maze runner. <laughs> Maze, we sweat so much during the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, Greg. Do you know what really, really annoys me? Is when you're watching trailers and they just end up giving the whole movie plot away. Yeah. Like it's a trailer for a reason. So they just have to give the whole plot away where yeah. by the end of the trailer you're like oh I don't know how this ends so annoyed that's a short ah. film mm. yes two and a half minutes a hundred a hundred percent I agree have Stuff you ever seen one of your own trailers and gone guys take out Take that bit out. That... Take the whole. Take me out. I've definitely watched some of the trailers. And gone. Mm, you could take me out. You have a distinctive look. The eyebrows obviously are quite. A, you know, people know you for that. Uh, does that work in your favour? Do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't sort of like walk into a barber's and go Tintin haircut, eyebrows of Satan, and uh, <laughs> and then we'll move on. I didn't. I didn't ever do that. But uh, this is this is uh, natural. But it's a distinctive look. So she brought nine dates. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all on nine her. boys. Yeah. In a row. And we had to do like a really awkward because the carpet wasn't actually wide <laughs> enough for four and a half men either side. So we had to kind of it was awkward, but we we did it. We tried. Next year on Valentine's Day, 2014.